with another Melunday video. We're gonna stick with the theme that I started last week if you missed it. I'm gonna still answer some questions in the Melunday videos that pop up, but I'm basically gonna talk about music, movies, any kind of entertainment, things that I'm liking right now, things that you guys are liking right now, and last week in the comments, that's exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping to get some feedback on some music you guys are listening to, stuff you guys like, and it just it's a nice way to interact all of us can interact and just try new things man because i'm always looking for new music to listen to new movies to watch new books to read i don't read as much as i should but i am reading a great book right now by malcolm gladwell it's called outliers and since i'm talking about malcolm gladwell i guess i should reference crad 008's comment last week about macklemore he actually references this book in one of his raps a lot of people talk about it i listen to colin coward in the morning he talks about the book a lot it's a pretty good book so far I recommend it if any of you guys like to read. I know a lot of people don't like to read. So check it out if you want. And yes, Crad008, I do like Macklemore a lot. I'm not going to talk about his album too much, but I'm a big fan of the heist. I was a big fan of the the track he came out a few years ago. I can't remember the the, uh, the, the broadcast, the sports announcer in Seattle that he made a song about, but that song is awesome. So yes, I've been a big Macklemore fan for a couple of years. The heist is great. But man, it's a big week for music, dude. The Grammys, the Grammys were out. It's Valentine's, Valentine's Day is coming up. Like what, Thursday, Thursday, Friday? That I'm not too, you know, I don't have a girl, man, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything for Valentine's Day this year. But if you guys are and you need some poetry, hit the upper left hand corner. I wrote a poem a few years ago, put it on my vlog channel. It, yes, go ahead, steal it, man. Recite the words if you want. Change it up. Do whatever you want with it. Check the, check the video out though. I thought it was a pretty good poem. But yeah, man, the Grammys were last night. It's I don't always watch the Grammy. I don't always watch award shows, but I was pretty excited last night because some of my favorite artists were performing. Frank Ocean performed. Something was wrong. He said he tweeted later that he couldn't hear his keyboard because it, it kind of sounded off. But I'm a big, big Frank Ocean fan. I don't really listen to R&B that much, but his oh man, his music's just so good, man. It's just it's relaxing. It's just something I can kind of vibe out to, relax to. Like if I'm working from home ever, I can just kind of turn it on and play it in the background. It's good stuff. It's, I was a big fan before Channel Orange came out, when his mixtape came out. Nova Kane, that's one of my favorite tracks. Songs for Women, which is kind of kind of weird since he came out of the closet this year. But he, he's just a talented dude, man. He won, I think my favorite part of the Grammys is when he beat Chris Brown. If you don't know, they have a beef. And Chris Brown's a punk. Everybody should have a beef with him. I cannot stand Chris Brown. Rihanna, you're an idiot for going back to that punk. But... Chris Brown lost to Frank Ocean in the best like R&B. It's basically the best R&B album of the year. He lost to him. That was awesome because his album's way better than Chris Brown's. Not that I listen to Chris Brown's, but I'm sure it is. I just I just don't like Chris Brown, man. I don't. Why would you like him? You know? Why would you like Chris Brown? So check out Channel Orange if you get a chance, or any of Frank Ocean's stuff. He's good, man. I'm not a big fan of the whole Odd Future Wolfgang thing. I'm not a huge Tyler the Creator fan, but Frank Ocean. He gets it going, man. He gets it going. It's just this laid back stuff. Another rapper that you guys probably, maybe you've heard of. If I don't know how, see, I spend a lot of time on YouTube, so I don't know how, how much time you guys spend on YouTube. So I'm always kind of like searching through different artists on YouTube. And this artist I came across, is actually my little sister told me about him. She's like, I think you should check this guy out. And I was like, what? My little, you know, she's 18 now, but I'm like, she was like 17 or 16 at the time. She's like, you know, she grew up in like rural Driggs, Idaho, where I grew up at. It's a teeny town in Idaho. She's telling me about some rapper on YouTube that I haven't heard of. I was like, what? So I checked him out. His name's Hopson, H-O-P-S-I-N. And I guess the best way to describe him is he kind of reminds me of the black Eminem. He's a, <laughs> he's a good... Like when Eminem came out and he dissed a ton of people, he like basically called other artists out for their crap. And yes, it was kind of shock factor rap, but I mean, he, there's a lot of truth to it. And that's kind of how Hopson is. You know, he disses a lot of rappers that... I'm not huge fans of, and I think that are kind of are kind of sellouts and don't and they kind of exaggerate the truth. And don't get me wrong, I love I like the kind of rap that people are rapping about money and women and drinking forties. I love all that kind of rap too. But it's refreshing to hear artists like new artists come out and aren't afraid to challenge you know mainstream artists and just kind of tell it how it is and how other people feel. And Hobson definitely does that. He has a series on his YouTube channel. It's called The Ill Mind of Hobson. My favorite one's probably Ill Mind of Hobson number five, I think it is, four or five. They're all good. But he actually started to, I mean, he has a lot of YouTube views, and you guys probably have heard of him. Or if you listen, if you're into rap, you've probably heard of him. He was on like the cover of Double XL for one of the freshman of the years or freshman of the year candidates. 
in hip hop. So he's he's starting to get some recognition, but he's definitely a talented man, and I just like him. He just seems like, like listening to some interviews, and he's just he's a good rapper. You guys should check it out. I apologize if all of you guys aren't really into rap. <laughs> we will cover some other genres in the future, Melendez, but I listen to a lot of rap, man. And so that's probably going to be the main focus, but definitely leave comments. Let me know if there's some other music. It doesn't have to be rap. It can be any genre, man. It can be some classical stuff. I listen to everything. I just primarily listen to hip-hop. So, you know, leave comments. Let me know, man. You guys, last week you guys left a ton of artists I haven't checked out yet. So let me know. But I guess since it is Valentine's week, I should... Maybe stick with some, some romantic themes. So I guess if you have a lady, fellas, and you have to sit down and watch a chick flick this week, you know, you get done with a nice dinner or something like that, and you got to sit down and watch a chick flick, and you haven't seen this movie, you should watch Silver Linings Playbook. I just sat down and watched it like a week and a half, two weeks ago. It has Jennifer Lawrence, a.k.a. Katniss from The Hunger Games, which is a great series also if you want to read those books. But she's in it. She's, she, does, she does a great job. She kills it. Bradley Cooper's in it you know, from The Hangover, so definitely going to be some funny funny stuff in there. And my man, Robert De Niro's in there, and it takes place in Philadelphia, and it basically revolves around the Philadelphia Eagles, which, when I first heard that, I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to like the movie, because, you know, you guys know, I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan, so anything that's revolving around the Eagles, I'm skeptical about. But <laughs> it's a good movie, man. He's basically, he's got some Bradley Coopers, I don't want to give too much away, but he's basically got some issues She's got some issues. They get to get... It's a love story. You know it's... I mean, before you watch it, you probably know it's going to happen, but I thought it was good, man. I thought it was well done. It's kind of a a different a different take on a, as far as a love story goes. You know, it was, it, was, it was a little different, but you basically knew it was going to happen at the beginning of the movie. You know how it's going to end, but it's good, man. Definitely, I know it's up for some awards. I thought they did a good job. I enjoyed it. If you have to sit down and watch a chick flick for Valentine's Day with your girl... Or your guy, if there's any ladies watching this video, or or a girl, if you're a girl and you like girls, that's that's a good movie to do it. That's a good movie to sit down and watch. But yeah, that's gonna do it, man. Silver Linings Playbook, check that out if you if you want. You don't have to. Frank Ocean, you should definitely check him out. Hobson, Macklemore, all just check it all out, man. It's all good. Freaking Walking Dead came back on this week. It just there's so much going on right now. There's so much I could talk about. <laughs> I guess I forget. I failed to mention that this is one of the new maps on Black Ops 2. I just got them this weekend. I have not been playing that much Black Ops 2, so I'm rusty, man. I just don't have the gameplays that I that I used to have from Black Ops. I'm just not. I'm just no beast like I used to. But I like the new maps. This is probably one of my favorite ones from the new map pack. Definitely, if you're if you're into Black Ops 2, it's definitely probably worth the 1,200 credits. You might as well just get it, right? Might as well just give Treyarch more money. But that's gonna do it. 29 and 9. Not the best game, but KD's not too bad. Leave comments down below if you got any movies, music, anything you want me to check out. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Drop to the floor.